Same ones just talking rain. When my friends go, it was simple. When the ends low, switch the tempo. I got a right, I got a heart. I won't die, I'm a fight. I go down, bet I strike. I go hard day and night. Money on the line, keep calling. Money on the books, need all that. My kids, kids, they'll be balling. Got a real bank roll, not for Instagram. My mom on the line, keep calling. Good morning guys, 7.30, I'm going to get a move on, have a quick bit of breakfast and then get to the bad fire so we can dive today, hopefully, I just want that big daddy or big mummy cray, that's all I want today. Oh, mate, it's a bit long bay, bay of fires, it is absolutely perfect here, blue skies, absolutely perfect water. I think I'm going to go a bit further and dive the gardens at the Bay of Fires. It looks a bit nice on Google Maps, a bit more reef area, hopefully a few more craze, big ones that I can get this time. So yeah, we'll drive 10 more minutes and get there and yeah, I'll see you there. Yo. Hearing the beat now, it's pulling me in, meet me at midnight, oh yeah, oh yeah. If you're ready to get down, bring your friends. Meet me at midnight, oh yeah, oh yeah Down on your knees, you're begging please, you want it My love's like fire, yeah, it'll leave you burning Down on your knees, you're begging please, you want it My love's so sweet, sweeter If you think that you got it Absolutely perfect Yeah! Woo! 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 Well, that was probably the best 10 minutes of my life, and I didn't even get my willy out. <laughs> Seriously, in for 10 minutes, fifth hole I looked in, my GoPro was actually recording because I was just looking through the holes with my torch, and I saw him, and I was so out of breath, so I thought I'd grab him. He must have been asleep or something because he didn't fight hard until, like, he didn't move until I grabbed him. But here we go. <laughs> what a monster. Look at the size of that thing. It is like two to three kilos. Wow. Look at this side. <laughs> I'm so stoked right now. The thing I wanted was a massive cray before my trip ended. And I took my gun out and thought, just in case I don't see any crays, I can get some fish for dinner. And I thought, I'll just look for crays until my breast is shit. And wow, that is one monster cray. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm stoked. What the hell? It is so big. It's the biggest cray I've ever seen in my life. It is massive. It was the only cray I saw today. I thought, that is plenty. I don't need any more, even if I do find one more. Like, that is a huge feed. I won't even be able to eat a dog. Look at the size of that thing. Wow. Got like all day left. It's only 
and I don't know if I should just go get a campsite, you know, relax, maybe even go for another dive or a swim or something, or if I should risk it for the biscuit, drive an hour and a half to a spot I just found on Google Maps that could be an awesome like campsite that no one's actually there. You know, one of those homemade campsites I love to do. So I got some ice, straight on the lobster, got some fuel, 635 kilometers now for the X trail. Whoa, what did I just say? Sex trail. And I'm just gonna risk it. I checked a few nice camp spots and they were right on the water, so good, but it was just, all the nice ones were taken because you can stay 28 days and a lot of old people would travel along the Bay of Fires and live the dream really to me that's living the dream in their camper vans and just yeah anyway so i'll take the risk i'll go up the coast and just hopefully that's a good campsite there i'll have some lunch quickly and yeah we'll be on the road hopefully for a good catch cook tonight i'll see you there i think i might call this spot home for tonight it's a little bit of a off the grid kind of spot there's a couple i don't know if they're houses or just like holiday houses or whatever but there's, a, there's like two out there there's a caravan down there i don't know if someone's been camping here and then left and we'll come back later but this spot's amazing regardless of what, what's happening and i reckon i could leave my car up there and set my swag up right here ocean view wake up in the morning cook my dinner right here oh, could be good plan is guys 240 i'm just gonna hop in i'm gonna hop in snorkeling i'm gonna take my gloves and stuff but i'm only gonna get it if it's a massive massive cray like beat my pb scrap that idea i just got in my gopro 7 wasn't turning on so i was about to come in to grab my new gopro and a 60 centimeter king george wide he just throws straight up to me there's massive brim 50 centimeters plus in there i'm not going to shoot them but because i love brim they're very old fish but i've never shot a king george whiting and they were so close to me take my gun i'm gonna try and get one and maybe big cray oh that was hectic As you guys saw, pretty murky and missed twice point blank for King George Whiting. They were just kind of lurking in shallow with the big brim. And I don't know, it's so hard when it's murky because you like aim at it, you can see its eye and yeah, missed twice point blank and then got too cold so I came in. I'm spewing but another day, another King George Whiting I haven't got. I missed a few in Kangaroo Island when I went there with Mitch and I missed a few today. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm cursed when it comes to King George Whiting, but yeah, we'll just keep trying if we see any tomorrow. It's beyond. They live to see another day. Lucky King George Whiting. So I'm just going to wait a bit longer, get out of my wetsuit until I set the swag up. Might cook dinner then set it up after. But yeah, still got a couple of hours, so I'll just chill out for a bit. Not rush, and it's, yeah, should be a good dinner, I think. I decide I'm going to do my catch and cook dinner tonight, right now. It's only about 4.30, but I thought if I get done now, if it rains, it's all good, and I can have some for afternoon tea, and I can have some for dinner. It's because it's cold. I'm making a lobster salad, my famous lobster salad, actually. You don't want to know how many Tinder dates I've had the pleasure of having this lobster salad. I actually, <laughs> actually kind of, it's kind of my dish. I've made it up. Mum kind of started it, and then I added to it, and then, yeah, I do really enjoy it. It's one of my favorite, it definitely is my favorite salad, and it's probably my favorite lobster dish to have because it just feels so fresh so starting off I'm gonna fill this up with salt water why salt water honestly to me I don't think it makes that much of a difference to the taste of lobster or crab whatever you're cooking but some people think it makes a big difference so to keep YouTube happy I'll fill it up with salt water I filled that up with salt water and I'll let that get to the boil Take about 10 minutes maybe and the lobster oh, it's just massive so we'll start preparing that in a minute I still can't get over it honestly I'm just so over the moon 
it all just came together for once in my life. <laughs> so sometimes it just nothing pans out right, like the start of this trip. And then, you know, it just all came together uh, right at the end of the trip and I was just so happy. Have one more look at that lobster. I don't think the photos really show how big it is. It's a big dog. It'd be oversized if it was an eastern rock lobster. But I guess compared to southern rock lobsters, it's probably a bit above average, I reckon. Absolute stonker. I've been on ice for about four, three, four hours, I reckon. Which is really good because he's nice and dead now. You don't want him suffering, you know. I'm, I don't know why people put lobsters and stuff straight on the coals, but I know it's their choice, but it doesn't take long to kill animals humanely. Take all the legs off. A lot of people eat the head and guts and stuff like that. I would cook the head if I had a bigger saucepan, but I don't. It's only going to fit the legs and the tail. There's not much meat left in there, so this will go back to the, the fish and the crabs. That is boiling. So you can time these kind of things and it is meant to be a minute for every 100 grams. I didn't weigh it and I'm not too sure what the tail and legs would be, but I'm gonna give it around nine minutes once it starts boiling again. So after nine minutes, we'll probably pull it out. It should be nice and cooked. You gotta wait till it starts boiling to time it. While that's cooking, I'm gonna get the salad started. Might just turn down a tiny bit. Two types of lettuce is what I like in mine. You got that, whatever that lettuce is, and iceberg lettuce. Also want tomato. I do like cherry tomatoes, but I had a few tomatoes left, so I just thought I'd chuck those in instead. I do like half an avocado, but that one's not ripe, so it was hard as a brick, so we're not going to be able to do that. And I want some red onion in there. Only a little bit, but I don't like red onion that much. It's a bit tangy, a bit spicy, but it's good to have a little bit in there. So just a little bit of red onion chopped up finely. And the key ingredient, the main ingredient, more important than the lobster itself, is a mango. Don't forget the mango, it is the best part, apart from the lobster. <laughs> it makes it so fresh. I do like putting parmesan cheese in it, but I've got this to use up and I didn't buy any parmesan cheese, so I just thought, I'll just put a little bit of shredded cheese in. And there's two types of cheese. You want feta as well. So that's the alarm for the lobster, it should be ready. ideal thing now to do would be put it straight in the fridge or straight on ice to cool it down as quickly as possible. Can't really do that, so I'll just leave it on the board. It should cool down pretty quickly. Oh, cooked to perfection. Okay, get that poo tube out. Fucking mozzies won't leave me alone today. That's how you know it's cooked well. It comes straight out of the shell. To the crabs. They're so good. My famous lobster salad. Mix it up a little bit. Oh, I don't even mind. My hands are getting dirty. Wait. I forgot something. I like to put a bit of dressing in, stir that around. It does make it taste, for me, a little bit better. Look at me go, I cooked a lobster salad. I'm improving every day. Quick taste before I sit down and eat it. So fresh. I'm gonna finish this. I'll see you guys when I set the swag up. Well, 
I mean, it could be worse. Look at the view. This way you come down random dirt roads. So I met the people that were kind of here. They said it's kind of private property or they don't really know if it's a national park or what. But they were staying up at the little house and they said, yeah, I can, they don't care if I put a swag here. So yeah, this is my view tonight. Sunset's gonna be nice. I'm gonna send the drone up and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Almost done. This is my fourth episode for the trip, last one. Thanks for getting this far if you did watch all episodes. Yo. Not a bad sight to wake up to. Good morning everyone. It's a beautiful day here. So for breakfast again today, I'm probably just gonna have cereal. I was gonna have those lobster legs, but I ended up giving it to the blokes and women over there because they said they've been trying all day every day to get a lobster. And I do have a lot, even at home. So I just thought, yeah, I'll give it to them. They're already cooked. So I just said, yeah, you guys can have them enjoy them i just had a whole lobster tail so yeah i'll just have cereal or something something easy and... hmm. we'll go from there it's about a one and a half hour drive to my uncle's house so we'll quickly pack up i'll just have something quick and then we'll get going so i can get there going for a dive on high tide in the morning and it'll be awesome not every day you wake up to that Do you want to say hello to YouTube? Hi! <laughs> that's Jimmy, that's Lou, these are my cousins. And we're going in the old cruiser down to the beach. Definitely seen better days. What's his name? Buddy! Buddy. He sits like a human. <laughs> <laughs> He's a dog. I know. A very good dog. He's a good boy. <laughs> Tell your dad to drive fast. Daddy, can you please drive fast? <laughs> and then we drive fast up along here. Ready? Set. Go. It's Greenlip Abalone time. <laughs> so I'm going out real deep. I think by myself. They're letting me go out by myself. Are you guys going to come out? Absolutely. <laughs> so I think. Way out there is going. Oh, I'm going anyway for the green lips and maybe find a lobster. I'll take my gun as well, just in case there's a King George Whitey or something. We can shoot it. But yeah, we'll see awesome. it. Awesome! Awesome, yep. <laughs> see in the water. <laughs> <laughs> I got a massive one. <laughs> Holy crap. That took me like 10 minutes to get up. <laughs> That's a monster.
two big blue throat wrasse, one massive green lip abalone, one cracked green lip abalone from Uncle Sam. <laughs> and he's coming towards me. He's called the blind fish. Here's Harry again. Harry's learning to shoot a gun, not a spear gun. A real gun. Broken until you're about to fire. And then close, safety off, and then break your gun. Now break your gun. Yep. Close your gun and then get ready, and then say pull. Pull. <laughs> that was cool! Oh. 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 Yes! Yeah. Woohoo! We can have dinner now! Harry! <laughs> no, <Finally. you> <laughs> Beautiful day ending here in Tomahawk. It's my last full day in Tasmania. Tomorrow Bye. I'm catching catching Bye. the ferry back to mainland. Now you have to say goodbye. 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 To everyone. Well, you guys are going to school tomorrow. Yeah. See you. See you. See you guys in the morning. I've had a great time in Tasmania, you know, this was the most spontaneous trip I've ever done. I just kind of was sitting in bed one night and I just thought, you know what? I want to do a trip before I start uni and then just book my ferry ticket and then just plan stuff the night before I left, you know, it was so spontaneous and I'm not one to plan a lot of things, you know, when I'm doing trips, usually it's someone else planning them, but I just decided to go by myself and just go basically, you know, don't have a plan. I didn't want to kind of plan things out because I didn't want to think that I've missed some things, you know, if I didn't do that, then I missed something great. I just want to do what I thought was cool and then just you know if I do miss something you know you've had a good time regardless but yeah it's been awesome kind of diving some new places especially this colder water seeing new species ticking off new species and grabbing that one massive southern rock lobster that was on my bucket list for ages I still am cursed with the King George Whiting Kangaroo Island and Victoria and Tasmania King George Whiting I've still not got one but you know gives me another reason to come back down I don't really know at the moment how many episodes it's going to be. Obviously, you would have seen now and you're on the last episode right near the end. But right now, I haven't edited anything. And I guess my five days isolation, I have a lot of time to edit. Hopefully, I'll get them all banged out and then be ready for uni. If you are in the Wollongong area or Sydney, hit me up. You know, I'm always keen to dive with new people, dive new places. That's where I'll be staying for a fair while while I'm studying uni. So, yeah, let me know. Just hit me up on Instagram at offshore underscore underscore adventures. I guess I'll see you guys next time. Don't know when that will be. Don't know where that will be. But I'll see you then. You. Faces like Norway. Yeah. 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 What I'm going to do is turn the gas on. Spit across. <laughs> Getting caught in there. <laughs> that was a bit silly. Turn this off. So I just... <laughs>